The important thing uh, to remember about uh, the Three Counties Perry Presidium is that it will always be a work in progress. Uh, there won't ever be a point when it's like finished up and running because the whole, the whole point behind it, the ethos behind it, is we're trying to uh, preserve uh, a product that uh, is very hard uh, to sustain in the modern world. Uh, we have a, a raw material, uh, the peri pear, that grows on trees that will last for two to three hundred, three hundred and fifty years. Uh, that is unique in itself. These trees are productive for that length of time. They are a wonderful feature of the landscape. But people will only want to plant them if there is an economic viability to planting them. As a presidium, we, we have got behind the national collection of peri pears, which are at the Three Counties Showground at Morven. Um, we have a, an autumn event there uh, that is a, a fantastic display of all the available varieties of peri pear that year. This year, due to frosts and very cold nights, I think we only numbered some 48 different varieties, but we, we have had as many as 63 one year. Um, potentially, if we, by chance, f got all varieties together, we may get over 100 one year, but uh, uh, the weather usually means that uh, we can't quite manage that. Um, so we, we get behind the national collection, um, and we also get involved uh, frequently through invitation with markets, especially slow food markets. Uh, we're involved with the, the one in Bristol, we're involved with the one in London. Um, and this is through support, through members of slow food inviting us and encouraging us to come out of our comfort zone quite often. Um, you know, I wouldn't necessarily think of, of um, it being viable to go to London, but they managed to make it, through their support, make it possible for us to do that, which is great. So after you've uh, fermented your peri and you've blended it and bottled it, you have a number of options uh, because it is a great aperitif, a drink to have before a meal. It is also quite suitable to accompany some dishes. And I think peri lends itself to go with white fish, probably with a fairly simple sauce. Um, it goes very well with pork. And in terms of cooking, a peri is great for a sauce to go with chicken. Uh, there are many other things you can do, but in terms of just sheer drinking, I think it works very well as an aperitif. Um, there are many different styles of peri. This is a bottle conditioned peri, but you can also bottle ferment it uh, in a method champenoise style. You can make still peris, um, and you can make peri vinegar and the peri vinegar is fantastic it's a little more floral uh, and a little more delicate uh, uh, than uh, cider vinegar and it seems to have uh, just a number of more uses uh, and the simplest use is to have a, a just a sunflower oil uh, and some bread and uh, instead of balsamic vinegar use a peri vinegar beautiful